Hey everybody, welcome to Game Brief for the week of May 26, 2013. I'm Jess Abrin from The Gamer Nerds. It's been a week since Microsoft revealed the Xbox One and still the internet is flooded with news, rumors and speculations about the next generation console. Here's the rundown. According to a report made by Digital Trends, the Xbox One will be region locked, meaning game software will be required to match the console's hardware region to play. This was confirmed by a Microsoft spokesperson stating, quote, similar to the movie and music industry, games must meet country-specific regulatory guidelines before they are cleared for sale. The Xbox 360 followed similar guidelines. How its successor implements it remains to be seen. Next, Microsoft's Phil Spencer and Don Matrick revealed to official Xbox magazine that the company would be investing one billion dollars into games for the Xbox One. They further emphasized their stance that core titles are always important to the console maker. In Don's own words, quote, I think candidly, people are way, way under indexing how hard we're punching. Well, here's hoping you're right. Lastly, in an interview with OXM, Jeff Henshaw, group program manager of Xbox Incubation and Prototyping, dove into Xbox One cloud service details, revealing that with the cloud, the performance of the device will be boosted by three times. Not really sure how valid that is, we'll leave the critical analysis to you. However, Microsoft does assert that its E3 press conference will clear up all your Xbox One concerns, fears, and issues. Just what El Doctor ordered. Just when you thought all you'd hear this week is Xbox One all day, air day, Sony's PS4 pops into the news headlines concerning itself and the PS Vita. According to a report on Digital Foundry, PS4 developers are required to include support for the Vita's remote play functionality in their next-gen games. However, titles that use the PS4's camera will be exempt from this rule, and you thought the Vita was on life support. So that's all the news we have for you this week, but before I go, fighting game enthusiasts probably already know that MAT-10, the annual fighting game tournament, took place this weekend at Food in downtown Montreal. Gamers competed for the top in Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3, Super Street Fighter 4, Arcade Edition, and Injustice. Check out the description below for the top three in each game. For more details, visit mtlsf.com. And hey, don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe. We'll see you next time on the Gamer Nerds Game Brief. Go to our channel. Yeah, totally check out our channel. I think they should subscribe also. Oh my god, subscribe right away. What are you waiting for? Probably a good idea, subscribe. Um, subscribe ASAP. You're gonna miss out if you don't. I just subscribed. Oh my god, congratulations. You just subscribed. I'm cool. <laughs>